What's up internet? I am Manish from rebellionrider.com. It won't be fair to not talk about cursor for loop especially when we are doing a series on database cursors. So in today's tutorial we will learn about how to use cursor for loop in Oracle database. As the name suggests, cursor for loop is a type of for loop provided by Oracle PL SQL which makes working with cursors in Oracle database a lot easier. Now you asked how? As we have seen in previous tutorials where we learned how to create explicit cursors that in order to work with a cursor in Oracle database we have to follow a chain of process such as declare the cursor first then open it and then fetch data from it and when you are done close it. Cursor for loop reduces the burden of opening, fetching and closing the cursor from your shoulders. Things will be clearer when we will do an example. But before that let's take a quick look at the syntax of cursor for loop. Syntax is pretty simple. First line is the loop statement which starts with the keyword 4 followed by that we have loop index. This is a row type record variable which will hold the data written by the cursor. Again we have another keyword in followed by that we have to specify the cursor name over which you want to create the for loop. Then we have the loop body where you can write your executable statements. Now let's do an example which will help you in understanding the concepts more clearly. However, it would be better if you have knowledge of PLSQL for loop beforehand. Thus, I would suggest you to watch for loop tutorial first. Find the link in the description below. That being said, now let's do the example of cursor for loop. Declaration section is similar to the previous one. I just declared a simple explicit cursor with name cur underscore rebellion rider on select DML which is retrieving the data from first and last name column from employees table where employee ID is greater than 200. Usually after declaring a cursor what we do is that we open the cursor, fetch the data and close it. But cursor for loop will do all these steps for you. So let's move ahead and see how to write a cursor for loop. Here is the execution section. As you can see we only have a for loop. No open, fetch or close statements. This for loop will open the cursor and fetch the data written by the cursor cur underscore rebellion rider which is the first name and last name of all the employees whose ID are greater than 200 into the loop index l underscore idx which is a record type variable. Now. What is a record type variable? I will do a separate video tutorial on record data type. Meanwhile, for the sake of this tutorial, just understand that record type variables are composite data structures which can hold data from multiple columns of different data type. Now the question arises here. Unlike numeric for loop, with cursor for loop we don't have minimum or maximum range which will decide the number of execution. So how many times will this loop execute? This loop will execute for each row returned by the specified cursor and it will terminate either when there is no row to return or there is an occurrence of an exception. Then Inside the loop body we have a dbms output statement which is printing the data written by the cursor on the screen. Let's try to execute this code and see whether it will work or not. And here is the result. Do make sure to visit my blog for more information on the same topic. Find all the links in the description below. So that is all on cursor for loop with simple explicit cursor. Stay tuned I will be back with another interesting PLSQL tutorial. If you like this video then hit the thumbs up button. Also help others in learning by sharing this tutorial on your Facebook or Twitter or by any means you find convenient. Thanks for watching this is Manish from rebellionrider.com.